As I've mentioned, one of my favorite things that we get to do in Photoshop is being able to cut things out, isolate things, um, and work with specific areas of an image. And it's really powerful to be able to do that. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to learn how to cut out a little bit in this picture of Edward R. Murrow. Um, there are several ways, again, that I can do cutouts. And different tools will do different things. I could make a selection. And I can go from there. Um, and I can do all sorts of different kinds of selections. I could do an elliptical selection. And if I hit Control J on a PC, Command J on a Mac, um, it duplicates a layer with just that selection. And uh, so, you, so you can see how that shows up. And I can start doing some cool things with that. Um, but what I also um, can do is I can make specific, I can actually draw my selections. That's, a pro, that's atrocious, but you know, you can do that. Um, and each of these different selection tools will do different things. I just hit Command or Control Z, uh, Command if you're on a Mac. Um, and this will kind of like allows you to click a whole bunch of times. Okay. And uh, another one too, magnetic lasso is kind of fun. As you kind of walk your mouse along, it's dropping, dropping little anchor points along and finding the edges. So this is another way too that you can make a selection. So that's cool. Um, another, a couple of other ways is um, the magic wand tool allows you to select kind of an area. Oops, let's undo that. That's weird. Oh, I'm in the wrong layer, um, and that's why it's selecting there. Let's go ahead and delete that layer. Um, now I can go in, and it'll select kind of, this looks like a mess. Um, you can change the tolerance here, but it will uh, um, any of that same color, it will pull in. Um, what we're going to play with, though, is we've got two options here that work really well. If your subject doesn't have a strong background, um, you can use the object selection tool where it will try and find those edges for you automatically. It usually does a fairly good job. This is a fairly new uh, tool in Photoshop that's really handy. We also have the quick selection tool. This is one of my favorites. I'm going to make my brush bigger. Again, next to the letter P, you'll see a couple of brackets that you can work with. And uh, I'm on the plus right now, which means any selections I make will add to it. And I'm just going to kind of paint on where I want this to go. Now, whoa, that just went too far. I'm going to bring my brush down. And if you hold Alt on your keyboard, see how the little minus shows up? And it will actually take away anything. And then you just come back in and say, wait, I really did want this to go in. And the more you work an area with the pluses and minuses, it will um, be more careful in what selection it makes. So this is kind of fun and we're just making a quick selection around him right here and there we go that's pretty good looks like we missed a little bit of his coat oops we went too far bring that back we're gonna add just a little bit through here where it was missing there this is looking good and you you can take more time and refine but we're going to call that good for now and then right up top is really cool feature I love called select and mask now I can see kind of these edges and some of them are really rough and some of them work um, some of them don't um, but you can come through here and you can change some of these and you can say I want this to be smoother or I want it to feather out more and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and this is my general selection tool quick selection tool that I was just in um, but I'm going to use now the um, there we are, that's the Refine Edge tool. I'm gonna to make this just a little bit bigger and I will just go and just kind of brush around these edges a little bit. And what it will do is kind of help detect what should be there and what shouldn't. And if we do this right, it should, yep, there it picked up some of that hair that was kind of straying off and we should be good to go now. And so, and then again, I can work with the feathering on that. I can spread that out. I can smooth it out and things like that. So you'll go through and you'll kind of refine this and get that exactly the way you want. There's another video in Canvas that goes over that too. And then your output settings, this is important. You want to make sure that we change that from selection. Oops, this isn't gonna let me do it. There we go. And we're gonna choose a new layer with layer mask. And that's important in how this is output. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And bingo, I can see how that's looking. And you can see how there's that um, checkerboard background. That means it's transparent. There is nothing there. Now, you'll notice that this is really just a layer mask. And so if I come in here and I say, you know, I really don't like this. Well, fine. Select your layer mask. Hit B for the brush tool. Let me make this down smaller. And Oh, obviously, I don't want that. Let's go ahead and bring my hardness back down. And we're going to make this smaller. And you can oops, hit X to swap those keys and you can adjust those again and put it back to where it needed to be 
Um, so, oops, he took off a little bit too much of his head. Let's go ahead and bring it just a smidge of it back, and that's totally fine. Um, if you get some weird spots like this down here, just go in and clean those up real fast. Not a big deal. And that's gone. Cool. Oops, we took a, lot, a little too much of his face out. And just brush it back in. And uh, you can get in really close and precise. Right? So we can now work that edge and get that nice and tight. We're gonna, oops, wrong button again. I just keep missing those. And you'll find that you're going to do that same thing. It's fun. There we go. We clean that up a little bit, and we have a nice solid edge. So that's how you're going to kind of work this over, and you know, you'll know you clean up a few areas like that. Once you've got this cleaned up and it's looking good the way you want it to be, you're going to go to File, you're going to go Save As, and you're going to save this as a PSD. And that's important so that we can always edit and work with that again. Okay, So I'm going to save that. Bingo. I'm going to hit OK, and you've got your cutout.